Hey guys, Jason here. Tried to make a video, but my um, my flash recorder just decided to. Well, I want to shut down for a minute. <laughs> so, anyways, what I was talking about was uh, how to defeat how to defeat the devil, the serpent. Well, I could tell you who the devil and serpent is. They're they're the religions. It's Goliath returned again, right? Christianity, Judaism, Islam. This is what I'm against, okay? And, um, you know, when King David, right, or when David defeated the Goliath, right, he used five smooth stones, five smooth stones, right? And he drew them from the stream, all right? Now, the question to ask yourself, what made the smooth, the, the, the rocks smooth? Water. So, and we know that water is life. Without water, none of you will live. <laughs> so, um, either you're with me or you're against me. That's all I have to say. Right? That's what I'm fighting for. I'm fighting about for water and earth. See, long ago, right, uh, We uh, the serpent, the devil, was defeated the first time here in North America. So, it, there was a mark that my our ancestors left. It's referred to as Snake Mount. I will show you that in a bit. So, and I'll even associate, show you the associated verse. Okay. So, you ask yourself, in the beginning in Genesis, because you watched all these stupid movies, you have your mindset already made up. And that's why it's written, thou shalt not make any graven image. Okay. Because this is not a, phys a physical, uh, uh, how you think it happened. Right. When you think of Adam and Eve, you think of just two people. Uh, no, it's, a, it's, it's symbology, right? And this is what nobody understands, right? It's all symbolism in the Bible, metaphors, shadows, right? And nobody will understand. That's why it's written in there, right? Lean not in your own understanding because the battle is the Lord thy God's. Because it's up to him. Because he's the one that reveals the secrets to his prophets. So, if everybody on YouTube right now are the experts, and they're declaring they're they're, they're trying to defend their Christianity, well, they don't have a foundation. <laughs> because Jesus is trying to tell you, right? Upon this church, I build. Upon this rock, I build my church. Okay. So, what do you think that rock is? It's the commandments. Okay, so Jesus kept the commandments. He kept the law. This is what made him the son of God. <laughs> right? You know, a father will always, you know, guide his son, right? You will teach him the right way. Right? So, does it not make sense that Jesus kept the commandments? That's why he said in Mark chapter 7 verse 8, For laying aside the commandment of God for the traditions of men. Right? And he continues going on in, in, in for several verses. Right? But then, you no, know, nobody wants to listen to what Jesus is talking about. Right? And that's the funny thing. Right? I believe Jesus my whole life. Okay? Whatever he said. Okay? And then I go on YouTube. I don't see nobody teaching about Jesus. It's Paul this. Oh, John this. It's like Peter's this. They completely avoid, but if they want to talk about Jesus, they usually through the verses, like in, uh, you know, uh, what verse is it they, they, they love using? Oh, no man knows a day and hour. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> That's what they should do because they're clowns, right? They, you know, if, if they actually believe that verse, if they really believe that verse, they would understand what it actually means. It means that Jesus is trying to give you a clue to go back to the Old Testament and get to know who the Father is. Like, I'm here to bring you a, a realistic perspective, guys. Common sense. Right? There's no reason to, to, to throw away vital information that I'm trying to help you with. You should be gleaning off me. Right? Just like if you're in a field, right, and you needed food to eat. Right, and the corporation takes away all, the, takes everything from the land, but they leave several seeds behind. You glean that information, no matter what it is, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs>
right, to help you out to win this battle. Because right now we are up against the serpent, all right? And how to defeat the serpent is you go after the heart. That heart is with the Bible. The Bible, right, Canada and the United States are founded on the Bible. Okay? That's the heart of the serpent. Just like I said, I found my name in the Bible. I mastered the Bible. Right? And there's going to be a time where, you know what, uh, anyways, I'm not going to go there. But the point of the matter is I'm here to show you, right, the first time that the serpent was defeated. Because it was written already. And we're up against it again. All right? And uh, and the devil, of it, and as his angels, the devil's angels, are the Christians and the religious zealots. They're the ones at war with God, trying to defend their own Christian, Jewish, Muslim doctrine. And they don't have no understanding. Like I told you, God's thrown out the window. <laughs> you know what I mean? And based on their religion, they're trying to be good. Well, Jesus tried to tell you, tell you this, that there's only one that's good, and that's God. So, whether or not anybody says anything that's on YouTube, they've already lost the battle. Because they don't have a foundation, because the commandment is a foundation, because that's what God established. And Jesus supported that. He basically tried to reaffirm that. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just, just kind of, I'm just, I don't know, I keep seeing the same old argument all over and you look at okay. I'll just I'm just gonna show you. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, the first person I see is uh, the first person is Greg Jackson. This guy doesn't keep the commandments. He doesn't give a shit. He rather listen to the devil, Paul, because Paul has no foundation. He's just making shit up as he goes. <laughs> so that's why I say I don't even bother with him anymore because he's never gonna win anyways. He's just gonna. Just show he's anyways, he the people are just interested in, you know to feel good. <laughs> but yet the next of the day the, the, the they're they're just gonna be drained again, they're gonna be feel sad, you know. Oh wait, I read the com comments. I read all these Christians all in a in a depressed state. Well, you should ask well if they're in a, it just doesn't make sense. Anyways. All right, here's one here. One of the one of the top experts. <laughs> Hold on, how do you uh, move this over? Okay. All right, what the heck? How do I turn this? Okay, something's not right here. This is weird. My computer's acting funny now. Strange. It was running perfectly all day. <laughs> you know, now it's being glitchy. It's quite annoying. Oh, well, let's see what this guy says here. Okay, this guy, this busy for the Lord clown. All right, I, he never talks about the Bible. All right, he never posts scripture to back up his arguments. Okay, all he does is post worthless memes. Right, but take a look at the people, the likes that he gets. All right, take a look at the likes. Okay, look at this. This is just some random Klaus R. Swindle. His first word, swine. <laughs> should give you the, the first clue of the type of person this person is. Swine. What did what did Jesus where did Jesus cast the demons into? Into swine. So this guy's name is Swindle. <laughs> so obviously he this guy's trying to swindle people's thoughts. Right? Obviously this is why he's posting these worthless moons. 
memes. Now, listen to this. Remember that only two things on this earth are eternal, human souls and the Word of God. Well, the first thing, what is the Word of God? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. All right? Because... <laughs> I gotta debunk these fools because they they lack they lack understanding. Well, the word of God is actually a person. I mean, uh, Revelations nineteen thirteen. And do you remember thirteen, as in Jason the thirteenth, right? Uh, Friday the thirteenth, right? Which happened October thirteenth, right? Where Jason lives. <laughs> Jason is, I've been trying to tell you, Jason is the high priest. He's the teacher of Jesus. And this is who Jesus' father is. Okay? Which the father is eternal. We all know this. Everybody that's an, a Christian should all know that. Okay? Jesus prepared a house, a place for you in the father's house. That house is the house of Jason, which is the house of God, guys. All right, this is what I've been showing you. I have all the backup, all the evidence. If I go to court, I will win. I've already established myself. All right? So it doesn't matter what people think or say or whatever. You're just at war with God with your own pitiful ideas. <laughs> so right now, this Charles Swindle is saying the word of God. Well, let's see what the word of God is so we can lay it to rest in the grave where it belongs. Okay? All right. Revelations 19.13. Okay, here's Revelations 19.13. I want you to understand what the word of God is. First of all, let's go to Revelation 19.12. Get some little understanding. His eyes were as a flame of fire. On his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but him, he himself. Okay, so we need to understand what this is saying. Okay, there's a person here. Okay, he has a name. Okay, so it's about the name. This is the first thing you need to understand. It's about a name, okay, which is associated with the seal of God, Revelation 7.2. 7.2, break it down, is 7.11. That 7.2 is also associated in Genesis 2, verse 2. So if you look at those two verses, the seven day God rested and seven day he, he finished his work. And on the seventh day he sanctified it, 7.7.7. Okay, but that verse 2 and verse 2-2 two, two is the two sevens, 7272 or 711, 711, indicating Jason appears in the beginning and Jason begins, ends at the, the, at the end. Do you guys get that now? Seven, Genesis 2, verse 2, which is the year 2022, which is the end of Revelations 22. This is why people have been seeing the sequence of numbers 222222 two, 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 just like Jacob 2 2. Right? So, anyways, and he has a name written, right, that no man knew. So we all we all know that everybody, oh there's Jesus, oh there's uh Yahweh, oh there's uh Hashem, oh there's uh I am, there is uh what else is there? Oh yeah, then the the the, the Hebrews. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Yahoo or Hehu or Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay, so these are the verses they completely avoid. Because if they knew this verse, or if they they obviously know it, they don't want to read it. They don't associate with it because it completely dispels their lies. All right, so this verse completely shambles everyone's mouth. This is why God tells you in the beginning of the Bible, shut up. 
<laughs> and this is why Jesus says, continually through the Bibles, if ye have ears to hear. But nobody wants to listen to those verses. They rather want to just beak off and I know this and I know that. But when it comes to this verse, zip, they're completely silent. <laughs> so, no man knew but he himself. So this is talking about God. God's the only one that reveals his own name. Because he comes and he sanctifies his name. All right? And that's what I've been showing you. On my videos and all my, everything that I've been showing you. I have established who I am. So let's go to Revelation 13 now. 1913. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood. And, now hear me carefully. His name is called the Word of God. You see it right there with your own eyes. And his name is called the Word of God. So we go back to this guy and the Word of God. Yeah, they have no, they, these Christians have no damn clue. Okay? But they have five, 843 likes. What are they liking about, about this stupid verse? Or this verse? They have no idea what it means. If they don't even understand what the Bible is saying, but they rather like this garbage, well, obviously, they're, they're, these are, these are the deceivers, the false Christs. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> are you, are you, look at, look at, look at that. Look at the praise. This is John 12, 43. For they love the praise of men rather than the praise of God. They should be ashamed. That I'm exposing their works, which is exactly what Revelation 20.12 says. That you're going to be judged for your works. <sighs> so, anyways. My blood pressure is probably just screw the roof through the roof right now. Now. Camp... O oh, is my name, right? Jason Campo. The the um, E A U right here, E A U is a uh, water in French, water or aqua. All right. So if you look here, February seventeenth is Aquarius. So if you look at Genesis seven eleven, the six hundred year of Noah's life, the second month, the seventeenth day of the month. Okay. That's, that's February 17th. The fountain is a great deep broken up, which is Aquarius. The windows of heaven were opened, or floodgates, which is associated with my name. If you go to Isaiah 22, verse 22, this is what that's talking about. That no man can shut and nobody can close. I've already opened the floodgates by showing you this truth and nobody can come up against me because of that because i have my name in there <laughs> which is associated with revelations 20 verse 15 that's why nobody can come up against me whosoever's name not found in the book of life will be cast into lake of fire <laughs> no one dares to come after me because i found my name i i finished the biblical puzzle the House of Jason, July, August, September, October, which is 7 11. 7 11. Whose house? Jason's house. Jeremiah 7 11, again, is this house, which is called by my name. Become a den of robbers in your eyes. Behold, I have seen it, saith the Lord. Matthew 16, 20, which is set Revelation 7, 2, which is the seal of God, which is my name. 1 plus 6 is 7, 7, 2. Then he charged his disciples to tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Why would God return to the earth and accept a wordless title of men? Come on, I want you to answer me that question. 
You have no answer for me for that. You guys are all in idolatry. Okay? When God gave commands in the beginning of the Bible, thou shalt not create no graven image. Thou shalt, there should worship only the Lord thy God. And there only him you serve. That's what Jesus was trying to reaffirm in Matthew 4, 7. I am what? 47 years old right there. See that? Matthew 4, 7. Otherwise, 11. <laughs> I, I just, I don't like repeating myself. It's just like high school all over again. All the simpletons, you know, that are not paying attention in high school have to repeat it over and over again. It's not that they don't care. They just lack understanding. Right? Because they want to escape. They want to escape. They want to run like cowards. I'm not here to run as a coward. I'm here to uh, defend the word of God. Which is defending my name. Defending my honor. Defending my, uh, uh, my sovereignty. I have a treaty card. Right? I showed it in my last video. Showed you all the evidence that I have. I could show you everything. Right? I have a treaty card right here. That's my title to uh, North America. My sovereignty. Where I can go to South I mean, to go to the United States and Canada, both both places. So, anyways, let's 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 uh, de defeat this devil once and forever, for, forever. Because what's going to happen, right? Is that like in the beginning, the angel of the Lord kicked Adam and Eve out. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you that some of these uh, comments, just how they think. Because like I said, in order for you to defeat the serpent, you have to find the heart of the serpent. Okay? If you, if you, like, how are you supposed to be a warrior? You don't even know your enemy. <laughs> See, the Bible teaches us who the serpent is. So you go after the heart. Okay? So, because Christianity has no foundation, it's all founded based on the murder of Jesus, which is the breaking the commandments after God established protection, like he protected his with claws and statutes, like 2 Kings 24, 24, verse 4, that God doesn't pardon those that shed innocent blood. Jesus was innocent. Right? This is the wrath of God that people lack understanding. Instead, they go, oh, yeah, Jesus died for me. And guess what? My sins are saved. Who says? Did God say that? Unless God said that, it's all bullshit. So Christianity is founded on sand. This is the parable that Jesus was trying to talk to you about. Do not build your house on the sand. Build it upon the rock. So he's telling you, you got to build it on a strong foundation. That foundation are the commandments. All right? You don't have the commandments, you have jack shit. The church has been corrupted. Okay? This is what you need to understand. Paul corrupted it. This is found in uh, Acts verse 8.3. Saul caused havoc in the church. He committed many into prison. This is after Jesus was murdered. They had to get rid of Jesus in order to, to bring in the Christian doctrine. Do you guys not understand? Now we have these false teachers all over the YouTube community as what Jesus predicted, which is being fulfilled right now. That many false Christs will rise. Right? That's what Matthew 24 verse 5 says. Right?
So Matthew 23, 23, which is, what year is it? What year is it? Tell me what it is. Tell me, please. I think it's 2023, right? So this is what's associated with this verse. <laughs> For many shall come in my name saying, or no, uh, who owe unto you scribes. So the scribes are the Jews and the Pharisees who are the Christians. Hypocrites, for ye to pay tithe and mint and nice and cumin, and have omitted the weightier manners of the law. That's what Christians do. They omit the law. Because their sins, they say their sins are forgiven. Which they're not. Right? And mercy and faith ought ye have done. That's what they keep. They keep the mercy and faith part, but they don't keep the law and judgment. And here Jesus is telling you keep both. <laughs> right? And this is where the, the conflict arises between the Jew and the Christian. This is what they don't understand. So now we go to Matthew 24. Okay, what next year? What's what's next year? Tell me. Tell me it again, please. 2024. Because guess what? Only the Father knows the day and hour. Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> so Matthew 24, 5. For many shall come in my name, saying that I am Christ. And shall deceive many. Obviously that's what that's saying. Because Jesus was God's son. And it would make sense that Jesus would keep God's commandments. Can I get it? Amen? Matthew 24, 23. Right? Now what? What? Tell me 23 again. It's this year. <laughs> then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Messiah. Or there, believe it not. What are the Jews declaring right now? Go look on their channels. They are saying, oh, the Mashiach is coming. The Mashiach is coming. The Mashiach, it's Hebrew for Messiah. Okay, that's what they're waiting for. So the Christians are waiting for their Christ to show up. And then the Jews are waiting for their Messiah is coming up. And here, this is what Jesus is saying. Okay, because Jesus was that Antichrist because he trusted God alone. And he already knew better that there is only one Lord God and only him you serve. Can I get an amen? <laughs> because in Luke 24, 9, what's the, what, did, I hear, did I hear 24 again? To, see the 24, 9? Verse chapter 2, verse 49, still 24. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Question. Wist ye not I mu that I must be about my father's business? That's the key. It's about the father's business. Nothing else but the father only. Luke 23. Okay. Can I, get a, can I repeat that again? 23. 46 and Jesus cried yeah because you know you can you can I, I understand I sympathize with Jesus at this point you know I would be crying too because these idiots are sitting here if you go on YouTube I believe Jesus I believe Jesus I believe Jesus oh Jesus this Jesus coming and Jesus is gonna... <laughs> and here Jesus just finished saying you praise me with your lips but your heart is farther from me because you have already denied him. And you have condemned him to die for your sins. <laughs> this is the shame part. Alright? Now, people are wondering, where did Jesus go? Well, I'm trying to tell you that, guys. And when Jesus had cried with loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up his ghost. All right. Now we get to John chapter 10, verse 30. This is why he said, I and my father are one. Because Acts 17, verse 7 establishes that Jason received semicolon and the worthless statement in there. Right. Received another king, one Jesus. That's where Jesus went. So now it's Jason, the Heavenly Father, that returns to the earth. That's why we see 
in Revelations 21, 2, And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared a bride as adorned for her husband. So who's returning to the earth? Not Jesus, but God. This is why he said, Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. None of you know Jesus. I, I've already proven that. I have kept Jesus' commands since I was a boy. Since I was nine years old when I went to that Terry Winters crusade concert. I was the first one who stood up and went down and accepted Jesus. At that time, I didn't understand, but I fulfilled Acts 17, verse 7. Do you guys understand? <laughs> and if you understand this number, 5 plus 8, I want you to do the math. What's 5 plus 8? 13. Right? So, Jason the 13th, which is Deuteronomy... 10, 13. Wait a minute. Just so you can uh, see it yourself again. <laughs> you see that 10, 13? Funny how that's just running slow. I gotta go to back. I'll go to Google again because Bible Hub is being ridiculous. <laughs> so this is how you defeat the heart of the serpent. And I'm raising up warriors. Is what I'm doing. I'm not a Christian coward. I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go run to uh, a, a rapture because uh, Jesus is returning. Uh, no, Jesus is not returning. God is. I just clearly showed you that. <laughs> okay, this is October. This is day thirteen. What happened this year on Friday? Go ahead, look it up. Friday the 13th, what's that associated with? That Jason lives. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee they, for this day for thy good. For this day. This day. This day. October 13th. Only the Father knows the day and hour, right? <laughs> See, this is how, this is what, how I know no one knows who Jesus is. Because, because I have known Jesus, I was led to this information. That's why Jesus kept saying, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Love the Lord your God, which is the commandments, and love your neighbor. How do you love them both? Well, you share the commandments with your neighbor, therefore loving God and your neighbor. Do you guys get it? 
there is no saying this uh, this religious Christian doctrine, oh, believe in Jesus to be saved. Uh, no. You believe in the commandments, and the commandments will keep you pure. Because if you know where the commandments are found, most you ask any Christian, uh, can you show t tell me where the commandments are found? They don't have a foundation. Therefore, they don't know. So their house is built on the sand. Do you guys understand now? <laughs> the rock is the foundation. That's why David had five smooth stones. Those five smooth stones are the five books of Moses. Or the name Jason. The Heavenly Father's name. So now, back to uh, Snake Mound. So anyways, I'll go to Google Earth. So, and I'll show you, well actually, I'll, I'll type in the verse first so we can, we can understand. We'll get some understanding according to the Bible because everything revives to the Bible so you can put these things together, right? And have a, a strong foundation. Like right now, if you ask these these scientists, they don't know what's where Snake Mountain came from. But they don't know; they can't even read the Bible. <laughs> All right. So Revelations. Oh, was it twenty one two? Oh no, twelve two. I think no twelve nine. Yeah, Revelation is twelve nine. So, when you when you're listening to these false teachers on uh, YouTube, when they when they when they expect when they know it, you know, there's no reason, or, or I mean, why would Jesus say while on the cross saying, "Father, forgive them, for they not know what they do," but yet everybody is an ex expert when it comes to the Bible. They keep putting this and putting this social media, and they keep putting this. they don't because they have lack in understanding nobody knows only the father knows <laughs> this is why you have to wait there's a con constant theme in the bible wait 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 right and then god's god and saying himself is saying be silent right in jeremiah 31 34 do not teach but know the lord okay there's a con constant theme throughout the bible all right because this is the day I'm exposing these false charlatans. <laughs> All of them. So, we're going to get some understanding today. The great dragon was cast out, which is going to happen this, which is happening right now. That great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, the devil, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out, he was cast out into the earth. See, everyone associates that, oh, gee, oh, the devil's in the earth right now. Uh, no. You guys don't understand what that's meaning. When he's, when you cast something, like you can cast iron, you can cast wood, you can cast an, a, an, a fishing net, right? There's many meanings with the word cast. But in this context, cast is mean into the earth, which means if something is going to be casted into the earth. Okay, almost like a, a memorial. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you that today. And his angels were cast out with him. Those angels are the Christians, the Jews, and the Muslims. This is who they are. Okay. Because we're in the war in the heavens. Revelation 12, 7. You know where uh, Michael was, they, they battled against Michael. But again, they're going to be defeated. Because they don't have a foundation. Because without the commandments, you have nothing. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, this is Turtle Island. So we go here, we type in here in the search bar, Serpent Mound. 
So I'm, oh, I'm arming you guys. Okay, I'm giving you the proper information, giving you a realistic perspective, giving you common sense. So when you go up against the devil, you'll have this information. All right. Because I'm here to wake up the warriors. All right. I'm raising up the army, the holy army. Because it's, guess who shows up? Isn't that right? The Lord gathers his, his troops. To battle? Okay, that's what's happening right now. It's even referred to as a memorial. <laughs> I didn't notice that. You guys could probably see it already. Serpent Mound State Memorial. Okay, so the question is, okay, if this is here already, that means, which is proving that the devil was defeated already in the beginning. This is where, you know, this is where, you know, Adam and Eve were kicked out because they disobeyed. Okay, so there was a memorial placed because of that. That the, the snake was defeated the first time. So there was a memorial created where the devil was, or the serpent was casted into the earth. <laughs> okay, we see it. I'm sure, like, did you guys know about this? Did, see, I don't see nobody talking about this information. Right? Uh, um, I've always wondered since I was always led this, right? Uh, see, when I was a boy, uh, my aunt used to say I used to see things. Yeah, because I would see things. I used to have memories of being in, in wars even before we even had a TV. Where'd these get these ideas from? Where did all this information come from in my head? Where did, how did I lead into the finding this information once the internet came around? I was able to access this, and when Google Earth was created, it was I had potential after that. I was able to access it and show you personally. <laughs> Do you see it now with your own eyes? <laughs> this is what Revelation twelve nine is talking about. This has already been done, but this is the second time again. All right, because who released? The serpent again? Or the Satan? Because this is what the Christians lack. They think, oh, the millennium reign. Well, if you think about it, if it's only a millennium reign, that's only a thousand years. That's not very long. God's kingdom is eternal. I'd rather be with God's kingdom. <laughs> Why would I want to be with a Christ's millennium kingdom when it's only a thousand years? You got to be an idiot to follow that shit. <laughs> Do you, see, I know that since I was a boy. So when I'm when I'm I'm at church, right, and they always talk about you know they oh, the if you under, if you ever been in a church, they always bring in Christ Millennium Reign. And here, when I would read it, right, Revelations uh, twenty verse six and seven, right, verse seven says, and when the thousand years are expired. <laughs> yeah, the the, th the first thousand years are expired. Okay, then Satan is released. Okay, from prison. So this is what this is talking about. He was casted out, but then he was released again. That's this is where we're in right now, which is the religions: Christianity, Judaism, Islam. All right. Right? This is what they don't understand. Because when Jesus was born, okay, the Christ, the anointed one, he was from the time he was born, okay, a thousand years. Okay, that's it. It's done. Then Satan is released. That's why we have the Middle Ages. What happened in the Middle Ages? Nothing but wickedness. All right, then God returns in what? Exodus 20. 
<laughs> in, as in the year 20, which is the year 2000. That's why we have the commandments in Exodus 20. Because everyone is expected to keep the commandments by Exodus 20, 20. Because the commandments are found in Exodus 20 and Leviticus 19, 2019, guys. All right. So Exodus 20, 20 states, And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, God is come to prove that ye sin not. What's God coming to prove? His prophets. Okay. So all the, all the holy prophets that were in throughout the Bible, including Jesus, I'm here to prove them. Because nobody could care less what they sinned. They were casted into, into purgatory based, based on, uh, you know, on their, their lies of them. Like, for instance, they talk about Jesus, like Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus got his commands from the Old Testament, from Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. So when you're praising Jesus, you're throwing the others in the mud. Because that's where Jesus got his words from. So if you want to praise someone, praise Ezekiel. Praise Isaiah. I pray, praise Daniel. <laughs> Do you guys not get that? Right? But if you obey Jesus, you would be saying, Love the Lord your God with your heart, mind, and soul, and you would go back to the commandments and obey them, thereby loving Jesus. That's a realistic perspective, guys. I'm trying to help. All right? I'm not trying to bring, you know, wickedness and all this. I'm trying to give you the truth, an absolute truth. All right? All right, so this around in this area, they found those two Newark, Ohio, Ohio, in Ohio, the two were holy stones. Those two holy stones were in the Ark of the Covenant until Jeremiah, when Nebuchadnezzar came, Jeremiah was instructed to take those stones and hide them. So this is where they found them buried with one of my ancestors. Because long ago, when the first treaty ever made, it was between my people and the Hebrews. That's why you look at the blankets. They have the the the, two, the the paths of the two, the 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 blanket with the two paths on it, right? Which is the wampum belt, you know, where the two nations became one. That's the ancient treaty. But then they got kidnapped. Some of the groups were taken away, and this is what separated the twelve tribes. The 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 Hebrews. The Jews, I mean, being only one tribe, where's the other 11 tribes? <laughs> right? They, they, the Jews are so egotistical, they think that they're the only tribe. No, Israel is not a country. It's a spirit indicating all tribes have to be together. That hasn't happened yet because God gathers it himself. All right? I've been trying to show that to people. Which is what? Ezekiel. That's what I said. I'm just so simple. I can show you. All right? Ezekiel 34, 11. Or what's 3 plus 4? 7, 11. For thus saith the Lord God. <laughs> okay. Who's going to argue with that? You, you won't have nothing. <laughs> because this is the Lord God right here. This is the creator of the universe. This guy, this is, this is the guy that brings down heaven. This is the guy that you do not want to mess with. <laughs> do you get it? For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I even, I will both search my sheep and seek them out. So nobody else is going to do it, guys. But the Lord God himself. So, why are these teacher, these false teachers on YouTube? Do you guys get it? Unless they take the place of God, then they become Satan, trying to act like God. Because they're trying to know the things of God. That's why God specifically says, lean not in your own understanding. 
But if you be, uh, these false teachers also, and they talk about in Deuteronomy, if you're a false teacher, right, the blood will end up being on your hands. And this is what they don't understand. This is, I'm trying to warn them of the danger that they're putting themselves in. <laughs> because they're blind leading the blind. And if you don't know what's going on, if you're a carpenter and you're blind, right, you're going to injure yourself. That's what it talks about the blood, is be on your hands. <laughs> Do you guys not get it? <laughs> right? It, the simplest, the simplicity of it, the wisdom behind it. Right? So, 11, 7 11. The missing 11 tribes is right there. 11. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just not, it's, it's, it's like when I seen this stuff as a little boy, like when I was 11 years old, I'm just like, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I couldn't tell nobody. Would anybody below believe a kid, especially a native kid for that matter? No. I just kept my mouth shut, just listened. Knowing that, you know what, these guys don't believe Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went out in the community trying to help on my own. You know, some of the elders I, I read this stuff to, they're amazed by it. And I, I probably took them to heaven. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my job, guys. As what in Genesis talks about, there's going to be a gatekeeper. Who brings you into heaven and kicks your ass back to hell. <laughs> That's what happened already. And we're going through it again. All right. The second time. Or what do you refer to the second coming? The wrath of God. Right. The wrath of God is those that murdered Jesus. Like how would you feel if someone came along and took your son? you know, that you raised, you know, that would upset you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the same thing how God feels. And you think that you're saved by his blood? Uh, no. God, when God already paid for the commandments with his own blood. Why would, why would you throw God's good work away and replace it by a murder? <laughs> wow. It's just like, I just don't understand why they just can't they just they just can't seem to comprehend this because they th these religions don't they know that I'm putting them to shame. You know, I grew up as a chess player. You know, you know, the first day I started playing chess, I played at uh well my very first uh Bible revival was at Miller Bible College. Okay? And I guess I could show you where that is. We're flying. <laughs> All right, so this is in Saskatchewan. See, I, I was probably maybe about 14. No, no, I was 13. Yeah, just a kid. It's 13. This is my, uh, this is my, uh, like, like I told you, I've been through all these, these, the revivals. I've been through a lot. I went to, all the camps, Bible camps. I, 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 I got experience. I got a, I got a, a belt. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, I had a uniform. I don't. I wish I'd like. I know how my uniform went. I had badges. You know what I mean? Because I'm a, I'm a sir. I always considered myself as a warrior for God, and I'm showing you how to be a warrior. Okay. So this is uh this is the revival place he went to, right? And it was it was like it was like a great time, right? And anyways, in 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 the in that college there, they had this giant chessboard, okay. So I was always fascinated by it until one of the one of the guys or one of these uh one of the kids my age they asked Jason, would you like to play? Okay, right? So they they taught me how to play. <laughs> I became I came became the master of that board just like that, right? So, 
there was this one rabbi who just put out a video. Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember what his name offhand. So he was talking about if God's a chess player, I would love to play him chess, but I would I would know I would automatically lose. <laughs> right? Well, I'm not, I don't think myself as good, but I have the knowledge to think, I'd say probably about 10 or 15 moves ahead than any natural person. Right? I'm not quick, but I already have it figured out in my head already. That's how I've become already a uh, like a good chess player when at a young age, right? My first move, I already have ten moves to counteract that, just based on one move. I pick that up right away. Like if if I have a pawn here, I already have which each pawn, which each piece, will I'll use as my defense and attack. It's the same way as the Bible. I already have everything calculated out. So this is where the, the prophecy is being fulfilled that God already knows everything even before you even answer it. He'll even figure it out. Yeah, because I already got it already cased out. I've been doing this since I was seven years old, guys. And then when 1998 came along, when dial-up internet showed up, this is where it increased. And when I started going into the Christian chat rooms, Holy smokes, did I ever see the war going on then? Here, everyone's fighting amongst each other using Paul's words. And if you go on YouTube, they're still doing the same fight. <laughs> right? And I'm just sitting here scratching my head and I say, do these guys even know what Jesus is talking about? And they don't know. They don't have a clue. They do not even want to understand what Jesus is talking about. He's telling them he's not Christ. He's telling you there's no such thing as Christ. Because everyone is an anointed being already. So then what's the purpose? Right? Because Jesus told you. He gave you a clue. He says, you must be born of water. And that's not talking about baptism. That's talking about you, your birth. Every human being. If you're not a human being, well, then you're not going to be a Christ. But obviously, every person on earth is a human being. Okay? So if you're born of your mother... This is the story in Revelations, right? You know, the woman and the dragon, right? And the child came forth. Well, that's everybody. Because every child that's born has to deal with the same devil, the same nonsense, as they grew up through life. Does that make sense, guys? And that devil is religion. <laughs> Christianity, Judaism... That's the first thing people, these, these religions come after, their children. Does that make sense? Okay? They, their intent is to brainwash you. Okay? So that's what that verse is talking about. Right? And Jesus is trying to associate with the water, which, you know, we're all born in water. And when you're born, the water comes forth. It, it gushes. Out, oh, the mother, right? That's the anointing process, okay? Then the nurse grabs the baby, okay? Again, washes it with water again. That's the baptism. You've Every human being is anointed until they come across religion, till they become uh, uh, filthy with the religion of men. Because then they, then they go into sin, <laughs> We're already born pure, guys. We're all in, everyone's anointed already. Okay? Right? We're all born equal. That's why, I'm, like, I've been just finished teaching this, right? Let's see. I just, I'm putting out another meme. Okay, so Genesis 1, 27. What did I say about 2, 7? Flip it around as 7, 11. Okay, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he man, or he him, 
male and female. Created he them. Does, does anybody see Christ, uh, Christian, Judaism, Islam in, in that phrase? It doesn't exist. Therefore, it's bullshit, those religions. So not in a Jewish or Christian Muslim image. Okay, now we get to Mark chapter 3, 25 and 26. If, and if a house is divided, it's against itself. Well, whose house is divided here? These three. And these three are brothers. They're from the same household. <laughs> and here they're killing one another by their words. Right? This is what Jesus is trying to explain. He said, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Yeah, this is what's what God is coming to destroy, the idols of men. This is idolatry. Jewish Judaism is, is, is idolatry. Christianity is idolatry. Muslim is idolatry. This is against God. Therefore, they are at war with God. That's why it's written in Isaiah, You praise me with your lips, your heart is far from me. That's why you turn God into a visible God, not in a living God. Okay? <laughs> and if Satan rise up against himself, right, and be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. This is the end of days. The end of religions. This is why Jesus told you, come out of her, my people. Do not be partakers of her sins. <laughs> Do you guys understand? Right? Because Jesus came, Luke chapter 5, 32, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Yeah, these are the sinners. Right? And they have to repent of their religious doctrines and return to God. That's how simple that is. That's the realistic perspective that I'm trying to bring to the world. <laughs> They're at war with God right now. So anyways, I'm going to bring it to an end. I'm going to put this video out. So I appreciate you all. Right? Again, love the Lord your God with your heart, mind, and soul. I didn't come to take away the law of the prophets. I came to fulfill. Thank you and have a good day.